As Mark Covington walks through the community garden he created, he looks back on a day that changed his life. It was the day he lost his job. Covington moved back home to his old neighborhood on Georgia Street on the east side and began cleaning up some empty lots. I decided that if I plant some flowers and plant some vegetables that maybe they wouldn't dump on it. Today, corn, tomatoes, peppers, and more than a dozen other vegetables are growing on the corner, what is now the Georgia Street Community Garden. It's feeding a neighborhood. Now they don't have to always go up to the liquor store or the gas station to buy some food. Covington didn't stop there. There's a farm that keeps kids involved. A park. People in the community built a, a playscape and uh, fix it up. Now we have birthday parties out here, uh, baby showers. We have our street fair and our community uh, school supply giveaway. And there's a community center and library. We have an after school program that we started. Uh, they come from 3.30 to 6 uh, when they get out of school. And then we have our summer programs. Mark Covington inspired a neighborhood to act. It has made a difference. You know, I mean, we get um, people around the neighborhood now that you didn't see cleaning up outside their house. Now they clean up outside their house. The Georgia Street Community Collective is now a nonprofit organization. Next on his wish list, new windows to make the community center more inviting. For his vision, we honor Mark Covington as Detroit 2020's Person of the Week.